it's chilling. This sadism streak, relish yeah. in creating lose-lose situations, causing pain or suffering in someone yeah. for no apparent benefit to them other than some kind of weird gratification. It's chilling because you'll see, you'll see this like sort of show of charisma, but then um, when things aren't going their way, you start to see into this pretty dark person who is devoid of a certain amount of humanity. The lengths someone is willing to go to win for something from another person, mm. even if that person has lost everything in such a dark, bottomed out place, to continue to prey on that person, to continue to prey on that person when you are up here in your, and you don't need it in your ivory tower and you don't need it, but just to squeeze that last drop out of this person who has nothing. What do you think motivates that person to keep doing that? Growing up so incredibly poor, surrounded by people of exorbitant wealth mm. and listening at night to the, the rats uh, in the floor and whatever that did to a person. This sadism streak kept hustling him into giving me odds somehow. And there was this part of me was like, look at, look at how good I am. at Because what it came from when I did that was because he was objectively smarter than me at just mm. everything. Oh, look, I found a way to outsmart him. So it yeah. was coming from my own feeling of lack of confidence in my own intelligence that I was like, oh, look, I managed to outsmart him by getting him to take bad odds. So that, And then I met won some money. I've had those moments where you see someone getting really taken apart. Right, they start losing in the game, and then there's almost this franticness. They'll play backgammon on the side, and they'll be betting sports, mm. and like there's this feeding frenzy. And I've been on the sidelines before seeing this happen, and, and it's also good for me because eight other people are Have profiting, time. and they're looking at me, you, this is the best game you put on. You know, you're so conflicted. Mm. There's this, this sense of adrenaline, and like you're winning, and at some point you're like, but this person is getting fed on. In your mind, you're like, grown man. Right. Makes own decisions. Pretty sure he's super rich. It's, it seems like we get this sense of, you know, this tipping point happens when there's like pleasure being gained from the act itself. It's chilling. Devoid of a certain amount of humanity. This sadism streak. To continue to prey on that person. It's chilling. 